Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lavina May here with the finals for the UBC, where we try to complete our Cinderella run against Greg. Um, so as you guys can see who he brought, I'm going to go and see if I actually have our team still from who we brought, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, just give me a second to pull this up. Um, let's see. Do I have it? Yes, I do. So we are bringing Beedrill. U turn, poison jab, X is a pursuit. We're gonna try to pursuit trap some stuff so that we can um, maybe force some kills. Um, then we got Umbreon, just super bulky, physically defensive. Toxic Wish protects foul play. People don't prep for this all the time, and it wrecks lives. I've won so many matches for me this season. Then we got Delphox, Calm Mind, Psychic Wish, Will O Wisp. Um, not expecting this to do much, but I needed to bring the Fire type because I needed to threaten his Tang Growth. Um, then we got Hylucha. Swords Dance, Acrobatics, Hydro Kick, Sky Attack with the Power Herb. Um, so you just use that Sky Attack, get that Power Herb away, and a max speed slot. I cannot speed a lot of stuff and hit them with the Sky Attack, which has high crit and high flinch. Then we got Gliscor with Earthquake, Defog, Toxic, and Roost, not Poison Heal. Um, because I could not run Poison Heal and run Defog, and I thought I might need Defog because I think he has a Cleft Key, so I don't want a set of Spikes. Obviously, Rock sucks. And then last but not least, we have Azelf with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Fire Blast, and Nasty Plot. Fire Blast obviously to hit the Tangrowth. Psychic to get that nice stab after Nasty Plot. Thunderbolt to hit the Manaphy. And we're going to go from there. So that's our team. As you guys can see, he brought the Aerodactyl, Manaphy, Normal Rotom, um, Donphan, Staraptor, and Tangrowth. So I wasn't really sure. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. So let's start. I honestly thought that he would be with the Dawn fan, but he led with the Aerodactyl instead, which wasn't that bad because I thought, you know what, my best lead is probably Umbreon because he doesn't really have much except for Manaphy, and I didn't see him leading with Manaphy. Um, so yeah, that's why I went with Umbreon. And obviously he had to switch out there, which kind of told me he's not top, but I didn't want to risk it because, yeah, I went for foul play. He probably also knew that he couldn't really touch me, so I just went for foul play. Because um, I figured he might be taunt, which would have sucked. Um, yeah. So, got that. And then Toxic misses, of course, because our luck in the finals sucks all the time. Our luck in general sucks all the time. And he just goes knockoff, which I was kind of happy about because it really wasn't that bad of a Toxic miss in that case. He didn't do much to us. Um, just knocks off our leftovers. And I just go for a Toxic again. And of course we miss again because luck is on point with us guys, so yeah. That Miss Toxic on the Dawn fan suck, because I'm just gonna take an, an extra turn to get it, break that sturdy. And I'm just gonna go for Toxic for a third time and finally hit in Toxic that Dawn fan, which I thought would be nice in the long run. And he goes Stealth Rock, which is fine, because we have our default Gliscor, which he doesn't know. And also I made Gliscor so that I could switch it into this thing pretty freely, because Ice Shard does like 30% or something. Because it's almost max defense, I think. Um, let's see, is it almost max defense? Yeah, almost max defense. That's like the smog on set minus putting in special, and I put in special defense instead of speed. The 76. So yeah, we're just going to wish. And he roars us out. Not a big deal. He roars right into the Pokemon we want. He roars us into Gliscor, which is awesome. Because I don't need the re recovery from Wish, but he will get the Wish recovery, and he gets a defog off here. So that was good, and he switches into what's chimpin, his Tangrowth, and we get that recovery, and he switches right out because he does not, he can't really do much to us to put it that way, um, and then he switches into the Manaphy, which obviously is his counter, and I get the Toxic off on it, which is super nice, because a time run that Manaphy was the best thing, and now I thought, you know what, if I'm going to kill this thing, i got to switch out right away, because he's definitely going Tail Glow, and I went right into Azelf, and he does go Tail Glow. I switched into Azelf specifically because if he went for like Surf on that rare chance, um, I didn't want to switch Delphox in and get it taking that much damage. And I know that Azelf could take a hit pretty solidly if it wasn't boosted. And right here, I kind of waste our Z move as you'll see. As I go Z Thunderbolt because I thought that he might stay in. Um, not expecting the Thunderbolt coming, but he did. 
he switched out. We use Z Thunderbolt on the Tangrowth that only does 19%. Um, and then we just go Fire Blast, it's a nice 48%, which isn't bad at all. Um, but that kind of tells me his set. And the reason why I stayed in here was because of the fact that on the Z move, Knockoff was not going to do much to so a 65 base power, not stab, is not great. So I figured I could stay in and fire off an attack. Because this Tangrowth really does wall a lot of my team. Kinda. Walls some things. Not really, actually, but whatever. You know what I mean. Takes a while to kill it because of that regenerator. And he goes out and switches right into Little Narth, who we just fire off and fire blast against and do 42.4%. And then we go Psychic, this 51%. And sadly, he doesn't die. But he goes Bolt Switch, does not kill us either. And I was thinking, you know, who's gonna switch into? Of course, he goes into the Staraptor, which is going to be scarfed as you guys will see and he'll just u-turn out i figured it wasn't worth saving as of because i was looking at his team he has ice shard on the dawn fan yeah i could st i could keep it for the tangrowth but i have other stuff that can really stand against the tangrowth so that wasn't the end of the world um manaphy yeah he can do some stuff to manaphy but also i have other things that can kind of do stuff to manaphy but I, I just didn't think it was worth switching and risking something else taking a brave bird because I really wasn't sure what he would go for. I was considering switching into the Glide score. I was like almost going to click it, but then I was like, you know what, he was brave, but that's going to be a lot of damage. So I'm not toxic heal. I'm not going to be healing that much. So he goes right into his Aerodactyl, and obviously I go into Umbreon because Umbreon's my wall. And he goes into Camus Guide. Um, we go Foul Play, take the Rocky Helmet damage, which sucked, but not the end of the world. I really wanted to kill this thing, though, because this thing was annoying me. We just go Wish. He goes Stealth Rock, set up his rocks again, um, which was fine because we have Gliscor still. And yeah, he goes into Manaphy. And I went Protect because I don't know why. I should have probably went Foul Play there, but oh well. We healed. And once again, I knew what I needed to do. I needed to switch out to something faster or I was going to die. So I went into Delphox. He goes Tail Glow again, and this time I knew he was going to stay in, which was fine. I looked at his team. Delphox honestly didn't do crap. Because it didn't have Fire Blast, so unless it was boosted, it wouldn't do with that much of the Tangrowth. Um, Staraptor outspeeds and just Brave Birds it to death. Even though I could Willow it, but I don't think I would be able to live a Brave Bird before doing that. Dawnfan, we can kind of do stuff too, but I, Dawnfan wasn't a huge threat. I thought this was really a sack, to be completely honest. Because at this point I was thinking, what do I sack? I was trying to establish between Delphox, um, Halucha, and Beedrill. And I thought Delphox was the way to go. And I just go Psychic. Um... So, yeah, we went Psychic, did 29.7%, which is fine. I just want to get some chip damage off on it. Again, this was a sack, and he kills us, which was fine, honestly, not the end of the world. Takes that toxic damage down to 40%. Here I go into Beedrill, because I knew, you know what, I'm going to switch, and I'm going to see what's going to happen, and this is where Pursuit comes in. Pursuit was really actually going to be for the Latios, which he didn't end up bringing. So, yeah, we Pursuit Trap him which was a good move on our part, puts him down at 16%, and we don't take the damage from, oh, nope, of course. So we could have went with something else, as you guys can see. Um, he didn't switch into the Dawn Fan, which I thought was super obvious switch. Um, but yeah, he switches into the Rotom, who we can just kill with Pursuit, which was good. And yeah, so that Rotom dies, and now we have one kill, he has two. Now he goes into Staraptor. Obviously, I'm not staying in because that would just be dumb. So I go into Gliscor now. And he goes Brave Bird, does 44%. Not as much as I actually thought it would do, which was good. Um, so yeah, he switches out right there. And I think we get a Roost off here. Yeah, we get a Roost off, which was good because we needed our health back to be able to deal with that Staraptor. And we just go Default because I needed to clear that. He goes HP Ice. Doesn't do too much, just kidding, that's a 67% guys, <laughs> that's too much damage for an HP Ice. That's because we have no special defense investment, and honestly at this point I was like, screw you, I'm switching, go Beedrill, because I thought, you know what, he was either going to go for HP, he was just going to go for something that's not knockoff, and even knockoff wouldn't have done much, so I figured, you know what, let's switch into Beedrill, and we got super lucky, because he actually went for the Leaf Storm, which only does 19% because 4 times resist, and lowers the special attack. And now, obviously, we know the switch is into the Camus Guide. And we just U-turn out, take that Rocky Helmet damage, which kind of sucked, but not the end of the world. And we went right into Umbreon, who could just wall this thing to death, which was good. And I just wish right here, um, he goes Stealth Rocks, gets his last chance at Rocks up. And 
that's fine because we still have our Gly score alive with okay health. And he goes into the Staraptor here. I don't know why. That's not the switch at all because we just wreck everything. He should have went into Manaphy to be completely honest, even though we killed it. Um, because that was the only thing that really he could go into. So at this point, we were in a great position with our Umbreon still at full health. Now less than full health, but you know what I mean. And he sacks off the Manaphy, which I was like, thank God. Manaphy was going to be a problem, kind of. Not really, but we played so well around, around Manaphy. Basically, it's two kills or things to that Manaphy. But two kills for three kills, including the Manaphy, is not bad. Um, and he was into Staraptor here. Which, again, I don't know why that's the switch, but I just wanted to B drill and just sacked B drill because I didn't want to risk anything. And also, differential doesn't matter in championships, it just matters that you win. And I figured, you know what, B drill isn't doing much. Can't outspeed the Aerodactyl, can't outspeed the Staraptor, and the Tangrowth. Obviously, it can, but I don't need it for the Tangrowth because I have um, the Umbreon. So, yeah, when he went for that, I was fine. Um, not a big deal. I went into Umbreon here, who really could wall the rest of his team. I could have probably just stayed in with Umbreon and just kept um, Wish protecting until he got low enough for a foul play to kill. And he does not attack again. He goes into What's Chimpin. I protect, get all of my health back, and I know that this thing can't touch me, to be completely honest. I was just watching to make sure I didn't run out of Wishes, because that would have been the problem. Um, so yeah, he just goes Earthquake, does a zero to us. We're just going to Wish up again. And now we're going to fire off a foul play, I believe. Because he can't switch anything in because he pretty much just let his Tango die. Because he can't switch anything into that foul play because anything else, he needs everything else more than this Tango. And I switched out here into the Halucha because I knew that this was my last chance to actually use Halucha. Um, so I switched into the Halucha because I realized, you know what, if I switch into Halucha, I, have a, I can do some stuff with Halucha and because I can actually outspeed and get the sky attack off. So we go Earthquake, doesn't do crap to us. And Halucha, we just go um, sky attack, kill him, get our boost. And then I was hoping that maybe we could get a kill, but nah, not the end of the world though. I just go high jump kick, get some damage off on the Sandstorm, just because I didn't want this game to take forever. He just goes winged attack, kills us, but we can just go into our friend Umbreon here, who really just wins right now because reasons he's a G that's why and we just go wish um, he was wing attack does 23% that was that miss on the ice thing was not that important we've done like nothing but just kind of playing it for kind of making up for the two toxic misses earlier and we go foul play and I'm sure that you guys can guess what comes next he switches in his Staraptor, which obviously is high attack because Staraptor has high attack because it's Staraptor. And he goes Brave Bird. I did not want to foul play there, even though it probably would have killed. Um, I didn't want to risk it, so I wanted to get a little bit lower, so I just wished one more time. Um, and I think I go for the foul play here. I think. Do I? Oh yeah, he has a crit, which is 23%. That actually could probably help me, to be completely honest. But yeah, we just get the kill. And that is how we finish our Cinderella story and win the UBC Championships, guys. I don't know how we did it. Um, we were last seed making it into the playoffs. We almost didn't even make it. Um, I almost thought that I was going to have to get really pissed at the match I had to forfeit for making me not make it. But we did make it. We made the most out of it, guys. And we are the UBC Season 5 champions. I don't know what season is, guys, to be completely honest, but let's just say season five. I'll check, actually. One second. Let's see. Season four. Okay, season five is coming up. Stay tuned for season five. We're in that. We got to defend our title. It's going to be awesome. And hopefully we can do have a better regular season than we did this year, but if we don't have a great regular season, still make the playoffs and win it all, fine with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed that championship match. Um, sorry I didn't report any, a lot of battles live. Um... I started learning that when I record live, I play worse because I'm kind of thinking about the recording and the battle. It's just tough. So hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned for season five. I will let you guys, I don't know when the draft is going to be fought sometime in June or July, but we will see. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace out, YouTube.